I teach one intro class called Global Change, and I've been teaching that for over 20 years now. And when I started teaching it, enrollments were small, the um, awareness of global change was limited. Every year you would see students coming in um, with better information, better understanding of these issues. Um, and so now when I teach this class, the majority of them are very familiar with the topic, and rightfully so, because I tell them right from the start that this is really the defining issue of their generation, is climate change. Glaciers are often sort of an icon of global change um, in the sense that there's many, many examples of historic photographs of glaciers disappearing. But the thing that's happening now is that you don't have to go back to a historic photo from 1900 to see the change from then until now. Those changes that we're committing ourselves to now are being determined by our policies of this generation of people. So we are de deciding the future of the Earth basically for the next tens of thousands of years. We arrived in the fall of 1988 and what brought me to OSU was it was a job. <laughs> but um, the group of people that I work with here are so collegial, so collaborative, so easy to work with, so much fun to work with. And there's such a large group of us that it's such a dynamic environment to work in as well that I couldn't ask for a better place to, to do my research. One of the things I really enjoy doing is I have my dog Luca, who I've been very fortunate to be able to bring to work with me all these years. One of the common things is um, as I'm walking down the hall with him, people will say, hi Luca, oh, hi Peter. <laughs> but when I look around, you know, Oregon State, the campus, um, the faculty, and it's really a wonderful environment to, to spend time in. I feel very strongly that the colleagues I have here and the students that I work with are the best I'm going to find anywhere. <laughs>